Hey friends, it's Lily. I hope this video finds you doing well. Today I wanted to share with you a quick tutorial on how to uninstall Reshade and install G-Shade. The Sims community was buzzing when they lost the MXAO preset with the Reshade update. And a lot of us made the switch to G-Shade and I wanted to help you all out with this tutorial. So let's get into it. So I'm going to walk you through on how to uninstall Reshade. I'm going to go to my C drive. That's where my game is installed and it may be different for you. So you're going to go to the drive where your game is installed on. Then we're going to go to program file x86. Double click on your origin games. Then the Sims 4. Then double click on the game folder. And then we're going to double click on the bin folder. And here we're going to delete any reshade files there are. So we're going to delete that reshade shaders folder. Then we're going to scroll down and look for any kind of shade with I and I's. And then all of our presets that we had installed, we can get rid of those. And this log we can also delete. And let's not forget the D3, D9. So we could delete that. And now that all your files are deleted, you want to reload your game just to make sure that the reshade is completely uninstalled. Now it's time to have some fun. We're going to click on the Windows download button and currently guys G-Shade is not available for Mac users. So once you have this up, we're going to save it and wait for this file to download. And then we're going to double click on it. And once that pops up, we're going to choose our language. And then we're going to click I agree. And now we're going to browse to where our game is. So again, mine is on the C drive. So I'm going to go to the C drive, program files, x86. And then I'm going to go to origin games, the Sims 4. And then we're going to click on the game folder and then double click on that bin folder at the top. And now we're going to click on TS4 and open. And here we just click on next. I have a 64 bit, you may have 32, and we're always going to choose direct X9. And then we're going to do the hooking normal mode. And now you have options. You could uncheck those, check them, keep them, whatever. And then we have all these presets for fantasy, the final fantasy, which I don't need. So we're going to install this. And again, you can install those presets for the final fantasy if you want, but I'm not interested in that. We're going to click next here. And down here, you can click on browse so you can save your pictures to whichever folder you want. You can create new folders. Um, if you already have a specific area that you want to save them, you can. I save mine to my saved pictures and I'm going to click OK here and then we're finished. So we're going to click on that. And no, we don't need this. Now at the desktop, you're going to see that we have a G shade icon. We're going to double click on that icon. Under installations, you're going to see where your game is installed and under tools, which we're going to be looking at, we can either launch converter or open folder. We're going to click on the launch converter and then we're going to go to our desktop where my G shade folder is with all my presets. And I'm telling you, it's so simple. It's just easy. Click OK. And now we're going to go right click on our Sim 4 icon, open file location, and then we're going to double click on the G shade presets. Double click on custom. Now you're going to open up your folder where you have all your presets and we're just going to highlight them. You don't need that folder preset backup, just, just the presets. And we're just going to drag them into the folder and that's all we have to do. So we're going to just close out these. I just want to check to make sure everything is there. And we're just going to close out of here and here and we could close out of here. Let's launch the game. So once you're in game, you're going to see this loading screen. It's the same as your reshade. If you don't see this loading bar after you did all these steps, you want to make sure your drivers are up to date. I was struggling with this for a minute and it was because my drivers were out of date. So you just make sure your drivers are up to date and we're going to hit shift F3 to open up G shade. 
and it looks just like the reshade. We're gonna go to skip tutorial because we probably know how to use this already. I am gonna go to settings because I do wanna change my hotkeys. Um, so for the overlay to open up the G shade, I'm going to change that to my home because I'm so used to it with the reshade. So I'll click on that and just hit the home key and I'll leave shift F3 there and then print screen. I do want my print screen button for my photos. So I'm gonna change that here. So once that's all done, we're just gonna to go to home. We're gonna click on off. And then we have to click on custom because that's where they are. And then you have your presets there that we loaded up. And you just click on them and you'll see that the screen changes to the preset. And that's all we have to do. This is with G shade off and this is with G shade on. And I'm gonna just hit my home key so that way we could test out some other presets that I already installed. Now let's test out the print screen to make sure our photos are working. And what I like about this, you hear? It has a little click like it's a camera. And then I'm gonna take you to where I save my pictures so that way we can make sure that everything is working right. And here you have it. Now let's get into the game so that way I can show you different presets and how they look with the MXAO on. Now we're in game and this is with G-Shade off and this is with G-Shade on. A big difference. And let's test out the MXAOFs. And you can tell by the deep shadows that they generate. And I love this. And I know a lot of you guys like it too. And the other MXAO is just a lighter shadow. And I wanna take you indoors so that way you can see how it works too with the same thing. Deeper shadows less shadows I think it's beautiful I think everyone's gonna really love this and here's another preset I'm using and I'm just gonna try it out with the MXAO and I'm just really impressed with this I'm loving it and this is my favorite Nixel boho dreams and again we're just trying out the MXAO and then the lighter shadows and she has some other stuff where you could have the blurs in this and her preset. So I like that, that we could turn that on for pictures. I think that would really come in handy. And now we're outdoors again. And I just think this is a beautiful shot in the shadows. And I just think that it makes the landscaping pop. I just love this. So guys, this is the end of the tutorial. If you guys are interested in G-Shade, I'll have the links linked down in my um, description below. Also with the guide that you can read through to see and get familiar with G-Shade if you're a little iffy about it. I hope this video helped you guys who are struggling because I know I was struggling. If you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Take care.